Good morning, Team Anastasis. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a really great Monday and enjoyed um, that little refresher video that we watched yesterday about parables. And the reason why we needed a refresher is we're about halfway through actually exploring the parables. And I know that sometimes we get kind of into a groove where we forget the purpose of what we're doing. And so I thought I would take just two quick days yesterday and today to remind us why parables are so powerful, um, to think about, again, why Jesus might have been teaching in parables and what it tells us as we look at the parables about the character of God. And so today we're actually going to do a little activity together. So before we do that activity, I need you to think of either a song or a picture, maybe on your iPad that you would like to either listen to or look at. So either a song or a picture, you're not going to show or talk about it with anyone else. So this is just for you right now. And what you're going to do is grab a piece of paper and something to write with. And after you're finished either listening to the song or looking at the picture, you're going to write about it. It doesn't have to be a long thing. It's just going to be you're going to write real quick. Then you're going to switch with a partner um, and you're going to read what they wrote and they're going to read what you wrote and they're going to try and guess and you're going to try to guess what the song was or the picture was about that they were um, writing about. So we're going to do um, this little activity and we'll pause me for a moment so that you guys can do it and then we'll talk about what you experienced when you um, shared with your partner um, after they have read and tried to guess what your song or picture was you can reveal it to them and and then we'll come back and join so pause me and we'll come back Okay, so hopefully that was a fun activity for you where you listened to a song or you drew a picture, uh, or sorry, you looked at a, a picture, or listened to a song, and then you wrote something about it and um, gave that to your partner. And if you're anything like me, um, songs are hard to capture the fullness of what a song is in a few lines of writing. And the same thing, when we see something beautiful, you can see the most beautiful sunset, you can see the most amazing thing, and it's hard to describe in just a few words the experience that you have when you look at that picture. Um, maybe it sets off emotions, maybe it makes you feel good, maybe it makes you scared, um, maybe it reminds you of a really special time, and so there's this whole story associated. And so, the words um, tell what the music was about or what the picture looked like, but um, just like the parables tell us what the kingdom of heaven is like, what the kingdom of God is like, but they can't really be substitutions um, or give us a full understanding of the experience, right? So we can read the words that our partner wrote about the picture or about the song, but it's not quite the same as experiencing it yourself. Um, once you hear the song, and you match it to the words, or once you see the picture and you match it to the words, you probably could see why your partner described it the way that they did. And it gave you more of an understanding um, and truth of the description. And parables are a lot like that. They help put us in the place um, where Jesus could have just described something to us, right? He could have just said, you know, the kingdom of God is, is like this and been very um, matter of fact about it. But the reality is when we experience something, when we are, are put ourselves in a story, we can experience it so much more like listening to the music and then matching it to the description, the words of what um, the kingdom of heaven is like. And so we're going to read another parable on a set of parables on Thursday. And that one is um, all about seeds. It's called the sower. And what I want you to remember is that when you experience something, you have such a fuller understanding of what it is than if you just read, you know, a rule or, or you read um, something about uh, what something is like. Um, it's a little bit like, uh, parables are a little bit like somebody who goes and sees the sea and maybe comes back to someone who's never seen the sea before and has a little um, vial of the water from the sea. And if they handed you that vial and said, look at this, imagine this, but it's everywhere. It covers all of the land. It's so big. It, it just covers everything. And they're showing you and they're like, this is really the water that came from the sea. 
you might look at that water, right? You can see it yourself, but it's not the same as going and experiencing the sea firsthand. Now, if your friend then brought you pictures to show you, that might give you some more clues about what the sea is like, but it's not until you go and experience that story, that um, experience for yourself where you're looking out at the sea and you can see there's no land. It's just water as far as your eye can go and it meets the sky and the waves are cresting and the sound and the smells um, are going to be so much uh, different than just hearing about it. So the parables are meant to do something similar, right? They're meant to put you into the story and help you relate and understand um, the truth that, that Jesus is talking about. And, he, and remember, he's, he's, a lot of the parables are talking about the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. And for us who have never seen what that all looks like, um, it, he's trying to bring us pieces so that we can better understand what it is that the kingdom of God looks like. So um, as we read the parable on Thursday, and hopefully as you're reflecting back on the parables that we've already looked at, you're starting to understand why that story, why the parable is so important. And hopefully as you get into this inquiry block, as you're connecting with other people's stories, you're really thinking about how how um, that puts yourself, how you can put yourself in that story uh, as any one of the characters, how you understand things um, more fully because you put yourself in someone else's position in somebody else's shoes and, um, and it's helped you explore it in a, in a different way than maybe you have before. So a uh, little bit more about parables. Hopefully you enjoyed that activity. And on Thursday, we will do the parable of the sower and um, we'll talk about what that, what that parable is about. Have a great Tuesday and we will see you on Thursday.